You're tuned into the new Old Heads podcast, premiered every Thursday at noon at bringingdowntheband.com and brought to you by No Bad Ideas, Coleman Dental, Printfinity, and Indie CD and Vinyl. Support the new Old Heads by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com slash newoldheads. Episode 161 of the new Old Heads podcast. I am Major 7th. I make incredible beats, but apparently they are not as good as Longevity's who... Uh, is out here. He's an internet star today because of his new album, Longevity. How are you, sir? I'm doing well, Mike. Yeah. How are you? Thanks. Did your thing, man. We're going to talk about that a little later on. We're going to save that for later, but I was very impressed, brother. Very impressed. Yeah? You like it? Yes, sir. What'd you like about it? it great flips. Okay. Great sample chopping. I see you. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll right. we, we get right. to that later. Across the table, fresh to death, uh, fresh off having... You know, a daughter. He's with a child now, as I say. No, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all stop, man. Don't do that. Just real quick. Stop. Public. public yeah. With child? With oh, child here means here we go. you're pregnant or the the child hasn't come yet. Yeah. Hey, Terry, congratulations yeah. on your daughter, brother. Salutations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And thank you. But uh -huh. I'm not with child. <laughs> I feel you. Have, did you not see, um, what's the movie with, with Eddie Murphy and Rasputia? Um... Norbit. Norbit. Norbit, yeah. Remember when she was saying yes, that she was pregnant? Yes, she really and she was. She said it, I'm with child. Yes. As a man, I can't be with child. I feel you. I was just saying I was happy. For that one, you had... I have a child. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. But I, yeah. I was just happy you had a daughter, brother. Okay. Thank How you, you feel, man? You good? Great. <laughs> yeah. You got a glow about you. Oh. <laughs> glow up. Yeah, glow up. Yeah. All right. What the hell are you talking said, about? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did change a little bit on that. Oh, I see oh. you. Spoke. Congratulations, bro. We are happy that uh, <laughs> she is here. Thank you. Man. Uh, healthy. You know, indeed, you, indeed. you and your wife are blessed. So we are very excited as uh, new old heads, Spools. uncles, uh, that she is healthy and ready to roll. So I can't wait to see. Huh? Raise, Raise roof, it. yeah, for sure. South Thank to Joseph. You. Can't wait till she get older so we can, you know, help us spoil her. So that's what's up. You can J spoil her right now. I can't do that. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Uh, Jay Moore is on the couch as well, rocking the Jason Kidd edition slash Jason Williams uh, Nets warm up. Uh, he's got some form of alcohol <laughs> wow. with him. Um, I mean, why I gotta be all that? You, you know what I'm saying? I'm, they can't see you, bro. I'm trying to paint a picture. They can't see you. He's drinking a beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. Why you got to call out my drink, yeah. fam? Shout out, shout out to Jacques Vaughn. If you if you watch sports, he was on. Those were the warm ups that he, he was wore. A, as he well. was a bad boy at University yeah. of Kansas. Point Kansas, Kansas, Kansas yep. for sure. To my left, the incomparable DJ Spools, who is in control of his life, uh, rocking the fresh Cubs. Uh, Beanie, how are you, sir? I'm good. Hello, Michael. How are you? Good to see you as always. Me too. True. How are you? I'm Michael? good, man. I'm blessed. I can't complain. Okay. You know what I'm saying mm -hmm. Trubisky was in the cut. Yes, uh, you guys won this weekend. You we excited won the football about that? Game. Yes, I am. So, what about the Lions on Thanksgiving? How do we feel? Good, <laughs> strong, just good. They got yeah. a backup though, so you guys should wax them. No, yeah, okay. Well, I don't know about wax them. I think we'll win though. Just, just get the job sure. done. Mm -hmm. Khalil yeah. Mack is special, man. That guy. Is Trevathan hurt? Good know. question. Not I sure. heard he was. Daddy, uh, you know, uh, I, fo I fool with him, but I fool with Mac based off his uh, Mid, -Ameri Mid American Conference, uh, the Buffalo, allegiance. yeah, for sure. So, shout out to him, man. He he's a beast, all time great uh, generational talent, right there. So agreed. The Bears are lucky having a young man. So we'll see. My Colts can't stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? Mac is out. Quarterback got a nice brace. T. Y. Hilton is in and out. We can't win, so we'll That's see. That's not true. What? That's not entirely true. I'm just saying, man. Jacoby got a brace. T.Y. was in and out in the last game. Uh, they won uh, Jacoby's first game back. I'm just saying, though. Mac is There's out. There's only though. been two games. We lost the last one. Yeah, but, hey. Just saying. But you live, you live to fight another day. <laughs> That's right. Shout out to Pops, man. But it's Terry owe us two, though. Two, yeah. though, no? Two and a possible if Thank we play in space. I like that you keeping it a buck. <laughs> he definitely owes us two and a possible. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so I want you to tell him about uh, the gun line. Up? The gun, the gun line. line, boss. Yeah, I don't know about the gun line, but your, I do your have Twitter a, at. Yeah, I got an interesting story. So a young man <laughs> tweeted me from uh, 
He's from Illinois. He happened to be in uh, Indiana over the weekend, and his name we're gonna call him JoJo because he didn't want me to really put him out there, you know, with his handle or whatever. But I get a, a random Twitter message that says, "Hey, fam, I see, trash. A, I, <laughs> I see you on the side of a dumpster," and I'm like, "Huh?" <laughs> so he has a picture of um, a major seventh. A uh, promotional sticker on the side of a dumpster. It's an old it's, sticker too, ain't it? Yeah, like it has the Cubs bear on it or something like that. Oh, yeah. and, but he's sitting there with a pair of headphones plugged yeah. into the dumpster. But the th- <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about all that. But I'm just saying. People know this. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying I'm just is, joking. I feel you. What I'm saying is, the sticker was on the side of the dumpster. So two things came to my mind: either somebody was rapping real hard, or I I'm just so. trash. Right. Those are one of the two options. Yeah. But uh what was the second option? I'm trash. No, Mike. You know, you can't take this personally, <laughs> man. Don't take it personally. But I think I thank Jojo for even, you know For sure. You looking know, out me, looking out, saying family. I, I want to know what your conversation was like. Did you have like a full blown conversation where he's real like, quick, Hey, he was like, Hey man, don't put me out there. Yeah, real quick, I, I sent him a DM and I told him about the podcast and what we do. He's like, yeah, man, I just happened to be in town from Illinois, uh, and I was just coming through to visit fam or whatever, and I don't really want to. And I said, it's cool. I ain't going to force you, but we're definitely going to talk about you on the next episode, so just know that. He's like, cool. But he didn't want me to do the handle and all the other stuff. So I'll I look it, it up, and I'll tweet it for everybody. I, yeah, yeah, for sure. I respect that. But no, how, many, how many Illinois are there? I don't know, man. <laughs> One? I, a lot of people say Illinois. I used to live there. Mm-hmm. A lot of people say Illinois. I've... You know, Some I don't, people, fight, people I don't say fight them Missouri. on that. Missouri. Missouri. Yeah. That's wrong. I never fought people that said Illinois. You know what, though? My, I have family from Missouri, and they call it Missouri. There you go. What, like, part, of, what part of Missouri are I these it, people is it from? Southern Missouri? Sur- I'm guessing. Southern Missouri? Yeah. Southern Missouri. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mizu. Yeah. Mizu. Yeah. Don't, correct me if I'm wrong. It's not that different from Indiana and in that outside of St. Louis and maybe one or two other cities, uh, Missouri is pretty rural. Oh yeah, once once you're outside of really Jeff City, yeah. um, Kansas City, mm-hmm. which is Indo- on the other side, yeah, Independence and Columbia, yeah, that's about it. Okay, yeah, and Columbia's like probably like Bloomington here, right? Yes, yes, that's where um, the University of Missouri, mm-hmm. the, Missouri, the, the Tigers, Missouri. Missouri. It's the Missouri Tigers. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Moore, we see you with the One key. word. University of Missouri. <laughs> Jay Moore, we see you with the Keith Van Horn shooting uh, shirt over there. We see you. Um, Who but shout shout out team? to JoJo. Yeah, we got to get Horn. down to the bottom of this uh, major seventh sticker gate. Yeah, man, he had me, he had me out here on a, on a dumpster. Whomever was I rapping. S- pl- I say don't take it personally. I say stickers end up in a lot of places. For sure. <clears throat> and I wouldn't. So, for example, if I saw us on the side of, like, a nouveau stand, I would be like, "Oh, right." Do you guys think we're just local? <laughs> you know what I mean, or just some way? I think people just put stickers places, yeah. man. And yeah. the fact that whomever that was uh, was repping and decided to just you know place a sticker, I appreciate you, whoever you are. I appreciate you for plot twist being for the culture. I it was somebody you. who came from Illinois, uh-huh. and, Illinois. Uh, and, uh, and, uh huh, and and happened to notice it and tweet yeah. it. No, he uh. Let's say he already had the sticker and he placed the mm-hmm. sticker there. Mm-hmm. Could be, and Man. then he added you. See what we need. What we, we need, need. We need four teenagers and one dog. Okay. To get down to the bottom of this shit. <laughs> what type of dog do we need? Just for clarification. Uh, I don't roll. Wow. What, what kind of dog did. is he? I, I see what you did. There. Great, yeah. Dane? great Dane. Yeah. I think he is, isn't he? He's is he a great big Dane? dog? It's a big ass dog. Yeah. Yeah, I think he reminded me of my dog Bullet. Shout out to Bullet, man. I remember Bullet. Shout out to Mike's lack of uh, virus protection on this Man, they're killing me over here, Spools. I, I see. Need upgrade, killing me. You need to upgrade your Norton family. 100%. Thank you for telling the world that. I appreciate that. Um, no, maybe you know, somebody about to hack into his Amazon account now and buy a bunch of shit. <laughs> Shout out to Amazon Prime. That's the devil on the low. Um, yeah. Stop yeah. watching all those adult films. <laughs> <laughs> watching that adult cinema, man. Looking for pictures of Lizzo, and the right man. <laughs> Lizzo. for a long time. He's been looking at them for, for a long, long time. time. You know, Lizzo. A long time. Yeah. You know, Lizzo out here on that crack game. You know, talking about, but uh, she's we, been on the crack for a long time. I heard. a long time. Yeah, but we more, ain't gonna even go down more there crack than Nino Boy. Brown and the Carter. Well, it's out there, boy. Make sure you <laughs> it's like a yard stick on the back. <laughs> like Lily. 
Hey, yo, shout out to Lizzo, man. Make sure you get that uh, good family dollar store cloth. Clean that thing now. Hey. <laughs> All right. Um, you got to be ready to go to war. You remember the episode oh boy. on uh, uh-huh. Martin when you got to go to work on Myra's feet? <laughs> Yeah, you got sure. to go to work on Myra's feet. You, you got to work, go to work claw, on Lizzo's they sell, ass. They sell claws, <laughs> uh, one for two dollars. She, she gonna need two of those to make she. She don't need them dollar store joints because it's gonna leave lint. But she, but it'll get that thing clean though. Mm. Not with lint in it. Well, all right, man. She so where she need to go? Uh, <laughs> Sears and Roebuck. She <laughs> just <laughs> needs some wet wipes, <laughs> bro. Look at Sean's face, and he was just. <laughs> All right. I got so Lizzo, you. make sure you go get them wet wipes, man. <laughs> get that thing clean. We don't love come you, out. Though. It'll yeah. probably take about a box. We got you. All we right. Love you. Yeah. Let's so, move on. <laughs> that shit is horrible. Nah, man. We wanted to be clean. Though. No, 100%. I'm talking about. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> let's move on. Sure. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> clean that thing. All right. Um, <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> As if you know it's dirty. Right. I mean, I'm I'm just saying, man. We it's perception. Perception is everything. Yeah. We're just going out what we see. <laughs> um, I try, spool. Stop. Man. I just thought of that Eddie Murphy thing. <laughs> <laughs> spool, stop, man. I'm trying, man. I tried to gloss. I tried to gloss. Did you over show that. him Homer, the Homer Simpson thing? <laughs> I think I showed long. Spool, <laughs> let me let me gloss over that, bro. That's all I'm saying. There ain't no glossing over that. All right, all right. Let's let's move on. Let's move yeah. on. Yeah. The Happy roof. Thanksgiving. Yay. One hundred percent. Yes. Happy Ter- yeah, today this was is dropping on yeah. Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, make sure y'all eat good. Beans, you, you green, right with the potatoes, ruler though. Tomatoes. Hey, shout yeah. out to Battle Cat. He flipped that on Glazed ham. Glazed ham, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh Shirley Caesar, right? I think that's what the video Yeah, is. Spools caught that. Don't Good. do that, man. Two glazed Christmas hams. Yeah. <laughs> that actually wasn't Battle Cat that flipped that. He did flip that one. That was Sway though. the remix yeah. guy that did No, no, that. but but Battle Cat flipped one though. He actually oh, no, made a there's whole one to joint the, to it. The, the popular one is the Sway the remix guy joint. No, I feel you. What I'm saying is Battle Cat made an actual beat that was cold where he put he put that on top of it. That's Are you talking I'm about saying. the one that has Cali as active as the beat? No, he there's another beat that's underneath it that Battle Cat did. Oh, okay. But to Terry's point, the main one, yeah, that's that's foolishness. Straight foolishness. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Glazed ham. <laughs> I just like when she's going like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you name. <it. laughs> Yo, they had like people pop locking. There was a meme going around with. Oh, Those are the Jabberwockies, sir. The Jabberwockies. Yep. Shout out to them. They actually did something with Shaq on All Star Weekend that was cool. That was the baby video, actually. It on was. That one. Oh, the one that they did yeah. for the uh, Shirley Caesar. Yeah. Well, well, somebody just remixed it. Got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cause I remember they came out with Shaq one year though for the All Star. I went and seen them in Vegas still, one year. Yeah, that was a. That was oh, word. The okay. boys cold. Yeah, they get busy. The boys front. cold. I'm not gonna front. Okay. Um, yeah. rundown perhaps. Let's go ahead and um, jump into it. So, saw an article about the New York Times. Well, actually, the New York Times mentioned that uh, they were talking about Drake and his impact on actually on the, on hip hop and the culture. It says rappers are singers now, thanks to Drake. Uh, says he fundamentally rewrote the rules of entry for what is meant to be a rapper. Uh, let's see, make sure I scroll out. In, two, in the 2010s, and it seems meant everyone followed. Be. Meant to be. They're really kissing his ass baby. <laughs> big time about this whole two, this last decade. I got you. Like, about a yard stick worth? I got you. <laughs> about three feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, give or take, yeah. Shout out to the wipes. All right. Uh, he, fundamentally, <laughs> he fundamentally rewrote the rules of what is meant to be a rapper in the 2010s. Before him, Kanye West and Lil Wayne had flipped, uh, excuse me, had fiddled around with melodic rapping. T-Pain too, of course. But Drake made it a whole, a whole world view. Uh, they basically continued to gas Drake and they said, but uh, what, he, what he'll be remembered for is how casually... Uh, and effectively, he rebuilt hip hop, the genre as rebuilt it is. It. I'm going off New York Times, ahead, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, effectively, uh, hey, New he York re- Times, fire your writer. <laughs> <laughs> effectively, rebuilt hip hop, the genre as it is today, uh, in his image. So this is the New That's York That's what he's going to be remembered for, though? Yes, for restructuring and reshaping hip hop. I think he'll be remembered his for his hits, but continue. So I went ahead and. Uh, you know, did some crowdsourcing and did some social media search, uh, searching just to see what some of the responses were. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I think this is crazy because there's so many people that are not mentioned in terms of this quote unquote singing phenomenon or whatever. But there's another take that can be taken from the standpoint of Drake is actually one of the people that was actually big enough and popular enough to have an impact. Like when people say, yeah, Ja Rule was singing. I'm like, yeah, Ja Rule was singing, but Ja Rule wasn't Drake. At the time, if we were to compare them in terms of how big they were, um, I don't. If we gonna talk sing rapping though, I don't think Dra- I don't think Ja Rule was ever as big as Drake. At is. one point, Ja Rule, I mean, he just didn't have the long run. He yeah. was the biggest artist. But do you think he true. was big as Drake? Yes, well, Drake, at international Drake just yes. Pop doing it for ten years. Yes. No, no, I'm talking um, about I'm talking about Apex Drake. Versus Apex Ja Rule. 106 in Park era, probably he had a good two, three years. Yeah. I don't think he was ever as big as Drake. And then 50 though. came out. His, yeah. his Achilles heel was 50 Cent. I'm glad ja you Rule was unstoppable. I'm he was on the radio in heavy rotation, three and four songs deep. But even if you look at 50, you look at Willow. What would I be without you? <laughs> you look at 50, you look at Candy Shop, Window Shopper. Those are joints that have hooks where he's being melodic but he still goes into a verse and rap i think we need to slow down a little bit here so because we're talk to me this is where it gets confusing because okay. talk to me if you're going to talk about sing rappers versus rappers that sing it's two different things okay yeah, yeah. you know like a lot of rappers can sing yeah, as well Pimp C could sing you know Facts. he's rapped in CeeLo right sing. Sing as well. is so but if we're going to talk about people that actually sing rapped yes the earliest ones I can think of on a mainstream level is maybe Bone Thugs, maybe, and then maybe probably Nelly. Yeah. I heard Those Bone Thugs. I heard Bone Thugs. I heard Nelly. I heard T Pain. T Pain didn't rap, though. T Pain. That's was, what I said. Yeah, T Pain is. Not he good. don't count. No, I, I'm not going to say he doesn't what count, but he didn't rap no, like he don't that. Count. <laughs> he don't count. This I don't think he rap like that. I don't future know. Future does because he's from that, because he's from post Drake. You know See, what I mean? T Pain is more of a, he's more of a Roger Troutman without the keyboard and the tube in his mouth, but he also doesn't use or created the use of auto tune the wrong way. That's so true. I credit him for that because T Pain can actually sing. Yeah. I heard him on the uh, tiny there desk. was a tiny desk. And I was I was impressed. I'm like, okay, fam can hold a note. Like he actually can sing. So yeah. I, I wasn't I wasn't there to hate on him. I actually enjoyed his tiny desk. It was dope. Yeah, I watched that. It was you good. Know what I'm saying. <clears throat> Here's my question to you though. Mm-hmm. So when we think you, you you mentioned Bone, I think Lone mentioned Bone. All right. So Drake's Drake's song Controller. Do you think that's similar to anything that Bone has done? I wouldn't say Bone. No. Because to me, when I heard Bone, I think Notorious Thugs, I think their first couple of albums, yeah, there's harmony in there, but Busy, all these cats crazy are actually rapping. There yeah, are records with Drake. There are records with Drake. It's melodic. The word harmony is in their name. But here's the thing, though. With Drake, there are actual songs where he sings 100%. Yeah. That's the difference. Like, yeah. if you listen to Art of War, like, or you, you hate Art of War. Let's go back. Uh, yeah, East, <laughs> Eternal 99, right? Mr. Bill Collector. Even Who's singing the whole song? They got harmonies in those joints, but there's Mr. no Mr. Weezy, the whole song. I'll take that. But they're, but are they singing But are they singing like a full R&B record for the entire time? Buddha Lovers. Yeah. That's an aberration. What I'm saying is Drake got a double CD with one song full of R&B I and one song around uh, that's the his crossroads. Latest. That's his latest song. I mean, his latest songs. album. But no, I understand what you're saying. You see where I'm coming the, from? The, the lane that, that Drake took that no other rapper took, I can, I'll can i say this, is the whole pop effect. And That's I mean, what we've I'm been saying, saying that since yeah. the first He's a pop star. couple that, episodes that we've done. That actually was the very first episode, I believe, we talked about that. He's a yeah. pop star. So you yeah, if, if we're talking about that, and I mean, he's been out for 10 years strong. Right. So... If you look at rappers coming up right now, somebody that was 10 back right. then are essentially 20 right now. So you got a lot of new rappers coming on the scene that may have been influenced by Drake. 100%. I understand that. But to go as far as saying as he changed the game as far as making uh, rappers sing, right? 
I don't necessarily He's agree with He's not the that. originator of yeah. that. No. Jump in there, Spools. Yeah, he, they missed the mark on this one. Okay. I feel like the writer. Um, and I like as, Drake, man, for the record. As far as, as, far as what he's saying about hip hop, yeah, about rewrote the rules for what it meant for a rapper in the in the 2010s, like that's just not true. Like, right. I, I just I don't know. First of all, you hear the influence of Fonte. You hear the influence of Nelly. I hadn't even got to that. So to your it's point. like when I when I hear that, I'm like, does your knowledge of hip hop start in 2010 and years going forward? Well, and that's I feel like that's who wrote this article. That's Somebody what's who's, scary about who's been listening to. Who they just who they just let anybody write articles? That's what I mean, man. Like that's yeah, what's kind of scary do. about this shit. Like when they get it right, I will say the New York. What was it? New York Times. Yes, they New get York shit Times. right sometimes. Like I don't know if y'all have ever listened to the sixteen nineteen podcast. That shit's solid as fuck. No, but I've read some of their articles, and as the news, you're supposed to get it right it's most or all the time. Yeah, you know, um, you're shooting for all the time, not. You know, I I, I understand this might be an opinion piece, but yeah, sure. sorry. I I I also, I also do definitely think that. I mean, the the part that's truth to this is that when you make the outlandish statement that he was the originator, it's one thing. But yeah. he definitely brought it to he definitely mainstream. brought it to mainstream culture. He he was that person that did that. That's and, where I and agree. Made and he's the he is absolutely the person that made it okay to sing yeah. rap. He, he rebuilt hip hop the genre as it is today. Nah. That's bullshit. Nah, the cool, fuck man. is that? The singing, popular, the, but the popular genre culture. Yes. he absolutely did. Sure, that's the, maybe the, maybe so, you know, but like yeah, the popular part of it, I agree with with Long. 100%. And that's the part where people like this writer get confused. There's still a rebuilt or just influence though. Like I don't know if rebuilding it. Like not everybody's trying to be like him. There's plenty of cat. You can hear his influence, but, but you if can we're hear talking about their own shit. Like Duke Deuce doesn't sound like fucking Drake. If, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> if he's coming from the angle of Shout the, Duke the, the popular, Duke the popular Deuce. rappers like Jay Z, the Fifty Cents, the Kanye West, right. then the Drakes. There's a lot of really dope rappers in there that we're not naming, right? But those are all the pinnacle rappers. They're main popular artists. He falls in line as far as big as that's concerned. So if yeah. you, if the writer's coming from that angle of Drake taking that whatever you want to call it, holding that chalice right there, then I think it makes sense from that standpoint. But from the whole ideology of, of or the whole, I guess, phrasing of saying that. Hip hop as a whole. Yeah, like that, that's, that's the part that's goofy. It's like, yeah. I, I wish people would, we talked about this in the past. It's almost like I wish there was two different genres, right. you know, but yeah. it, it's. Just so that it would be easier to kind of distinguish the difference between those two things. When you but, talk, when you talk about popular records, and you talk about, you know, mainstream records, and then we look at the influence from that standpoint, taking out of consideration to Spool's point about, you know, hip hop as a whole. To me, I lean towards what this person is saying from a popular standpoint because I do think he's influenced a lot of people from the, you know, the pop standpoint, the record, the yeah. radio standpoint, like. I, I do agree with that because he's one of those people that made that okay to do. I'm just stuck on the word rebuilt, even yeah, even based on what you what you guys how you're defining it too. Right. Because you look at some, who are the other popular rappers around? Rick so, Ross. Rick Ross doesn't sing. No, but I don't but, care but, for Rick. But Ross, don't think but of he it. Raps, but if you don't you know? think of it in the sense, of, oh, I see what you're saying. But even he's so, a like popular rapper that pe- everyone knows. You know? Right. But even like. The way 50 Cent was making records from right. the way that Jay-Z was rec- making records before that and Ja Rule and all them. And then you go to what Kanye West kind of had his time with Lil Wayne. Thank you. And then it, then Drake, as far as that popular artist, right. did change it. You and know, Drake like, was on the heels of Lil Wayne because he's the one that pretty much introduced him to everybody. There, there's two things to me, in my opinion, that made Drake who he is. And that's Fonte's influence. Yeah. And then 808s and heartbreaks. To me, Kanye West to influence. me, to me, to me, 808s and heartbreaks is the album nobody's talking about that actually inspired and changed. Yeah, if we're gonna talk about an artist that you know did what I'm it, saying, Kanye inspired that. I so. think Drake comes from that, from hearing that. Because if you think about it, moving forward, <sighs> everything that came from that, like when you hear Kanye ranting and going on his rants about, I've influenced everything in the past, whatever. He's right when you think about eight oh eight heartbreaks. Yeah. That's a fact. No, it's that's accurate. a good point. You know what I'm saying? Like now, good for good or for bad, that's subjective. That's everybody's opinion. Well, maybe Common did too, then, because he put an album out like that, right? See, <laughs> no, I mean, man. Nate Dog 
I would say because Nate Dogg was the hook king, like he was on everybody's he, hook singing. He had his own album singing. But he's a singer though. I don't. He's a singer, man. He's I don't not a rapper. Him. But he was I rapping. Just, it was, I just think they're they're nah, making nah, nah a way know. bigger deal about this with Drake. That's all. I, I just think that's where popular hip hop has gone now. Like, yeah, it, I man. mean that's that's accurate. Tunix, because yeah. because he is the most popular. That's when people who don't know a lot about hip hop think about hip hop. They think about Drake right yeah. now. Post you know Malone, saying? and he happens to be a singer. Post Malone didn't have one rap record on his yeah. album no. that he just one rap album. Just of the year. one rap album. Uh, of Billboard. The year. Yeah, and Post Malone is another point of reference. No, that was American Music Awards. American, I'm sorry, yeah, AMAs. American Music Awards, AMAs. He's another point of reference that falls in the line from Drake because when I listen to the album, everybody says, "Yeah, but it's dope. It's dope. It's good." I'm like, "Yeah, but it's not rap. It's not a hip hop album to me. It's just not. not." I listen to it, like you know, melody, what melody wise, how it's constructed. Like I can see the talent there. I'm not stupid. I'm not about to knock him and say he's trash from a talent standpoint but it's not hip hop it's not well, is hip hop is hip hop music or is it a culture right i think it's, it's both. both right i think it's both so that's where that you know but i just think when i listen to do it doesn't give me a you know what i'm saying a hip hop vibe but i think we as a culture not us but in general People will vouch for that and are okay with that so much. It just gets slid in where it's like, yeah, he can win a hip hop award and it's cool. But I always revert back to Lil Nas X and how country music was fighting the hell out of him. Not he just peace. won a country award, but they were fighting him, saying that he's not country. Nobody did that for Post Malone. Nobody fought him to say, "Yo, fam is really not hip hop." That's because for some reason, um. Hip hop just accepts everything that people throw at them. Thank you, sir. Or throw at us, and yep. I don't know who speaks or who's the the go to for you know what I'm saying. Right. I don't know who's doing that, but yeah, who's who whoever is nominating these artists and putting them in these categories for sure need to do a little more looking and soul searching because I mean this ain't it. This ain't it. Go ahead, Spoo. Oh, do nothing. you have some? Nope. No. I think I said my piece. I think I rest. <laughs> but Drake, uh, it is 100%, accurate that I, I see his influence. It's I'm accurate as far it. as the point that you're making as far as how he influenced everybody, but he is not the, he didn't rewrite hip hop. I wouldn't say that. I mean, Fonte tweeted. Um, wording is important, and that's why this article is all fucked up. Right. The wording is very well important. Spools mentioned that point as well. You know, wording is, it's, it's vital in this because people can take this and run with this. Uh, Fonte had a couple tweets that made some news, mm -hmm. and for people that are actual heads and that that follow, you know what I'm saying follow hip hop music and follow the, you know the story of Drake or, or Fonte know that Drake has openly come out and said Fonte was his favorite rapper and influenced him and oh I love Little Brother and love Ninth Wonder and all this and that but for some reason we never saw a collab after they first joint way back in the day for I believe it was on So Far Gone mm -hmm. but Fonte says uh, he, he had two interesting tweets I read, it was I like read, a mixtape wasn't it yeah yeah but mixtape was no, cold no it was on a comeback season comeback season mm -hmm. that's the, the joint the, they had with uh, Fonte you need, and, uh, you need a Baker joint yeah, don't you, you have a man that joint don't was cold don't you have a man don't you have a man? <laughs> yeah that joint was cold though yeah but Fonte had a couple tweets uh, that made some news. He said, "The more they try to erase me, the more the more that I appear." And the second one, I actually re I retweeted. He said, "I'm thankful to make a good living doing what I love. What let's see, doing what I love to do. The awards, etc., accolades never meant that much to me. But I refuse to let <laughs> I refuse to let you motherfuckers rewrite history. <laughs> wow, the and niggas who helped shape it are still alive." I'm like he's right, you know what I'm saying? He's absolutely right because if we're gonna use Drake as an example, you can't play Fonte on his on his influence and, and mention Drake. You can't do it. Like the people that know know he's Christopher, a huge Christopher influence. Columbus would disagree with you on that. Woody, yeah, okay. Well, we we know the story though. Mm -hmm. Woody, <laughs> stop, man. But uh, Fonte. I mean, Fonte's never gonna really get shout out to Jay Brookins. Uh Fonte's <laughs> never gonna get the uh his just due, but fam is a huge influence on Drake. 
we read the tweet a while back about the same the, news. Yeah, like I mean, it's news to some people, which is unfortunate. But yeah, like yeah, I see where Fonte's coming from. So yeah, you know, shout out to him because a lot of people were uh, a little upset about that. I heard and and <laughs> I saw a lot of people mentioning people was really riding for T Pain, you know, like hard. Like people was really riding for T Pain. I love T Pain, but he ain't a rapper. <laughs> You know what's kind of the most awesome but sometimes not awesome thing about hip hop is that there are no rules really True. anymore. For sure. It's really cool sometimes, but it, sometimes it kind of sucks too because it lets people like fucking post Malone when And then the thing is it shouldn't matter because those award shows kind of suck anyway, like they all do. Talk that talk. But but it's a pinnacle like if you're an yeah. artist and you and you make it to to be well received to the point where you're able to collect one of those awards, right? That's like a bucket list item. Even if it's not, even if it doesn't hold as much weight, yeah, as you think it would. Mm-hmm. From a creative point of view, I think it does. I don't know about from a creative point of view, but from like a maybe a career point of view, like if you enter into music as a career, you want to be seen as the best, and that's one of the. That's one of the marks, I guess, is if you win one of these awards, right? Mm-hmm. That that can make you. I guess I can see that, but I could also make the argument that every year the best songs don't win best song of the year. One hundred percent. Every single year, that's with movies too. Yeah. You know, I mean, but especially when you and think not about being it. like political. Hold on, not being okay. like political about it. I'm yeah. just being by like because it's really just the popular music awards. Right, right, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sorry, go ahead, Jay. Oh, no, especially when you think about what has never been nominated or has never won. You right. You know, no, no Grammys for Nas, no yeah. Grammy, no nominations for yeah. Gangstar, none yeah. for Snoop Dogg, none for Wu-Tang, none for P.E. We can only put yeah. so much into what these awards yeah, even mean. Yeah, that shit. When some of our yeah. most legendary artists have not, not even been nominated. But they're just, I mean, they're just tokens at the end of the day. Yeah. You know, like and it shouldn't, I That's saw some people getting all bent out of shape because of the Grammy nominations. I'm like, it shouldn't mean anything. You see who's been left out. It's actually yeah, a more illustrious group than the people who've been included in some point years. And that's I kind bet. of the sad thing, too, just real quick about Drake. How many people are, have probably tweeted like after he said that, and people were like, what about Fonte? What about Fonte? Who were like, who's Fonte? Yeah. Well, this happened. Well, well, no one knows who Fonte is, so he doesn't matter. Like right. people say shit like that. That's yeah. that's a yeah. lot of people. One hundred percent feel that 100%. way. You know? I mean, like, I mean, even when Fonte or Little Brother dropped their latest album, somebody literally tweeted out saying, "Man, Fonte sounds a lot like Drake," and and. That's we already talked about that, but Fonte tweeted, "Kids say the darndest things." And it's I, just, I, it's I laugh. just so. Yeah, I laugh. So yeah, like you know. For the record, though, I'm I'm just gonna let y'all know. Um, if um, any of you are nominated for a Grammy and invited or whatever for anything that you do, I'm going to be excited. I'm just I'm just keeping it above. I mean, yeah. You know, well, we sure. talk about we talk about you know Charlemagne and all these people talk about oh no, the white focus awards all that. I get it, cool. But if Lone is nominated for a Grammy for something that he works on, I'm fucking excited for him. Yeah, why not? We go on to the show. <laughs> right. <laughs> we go on to the show and we go have a good time. He I'm just th- invited himself. Oh, yeah. I'm going. Yeah, if he don't... If He'll he, probably be there too, so... Yeah, if, if he don't take... Yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> just to put that out there, I'm I'm going to be excited. Yeah. For sure, but if I If you guys got nominated for the fucking Lone's Living Room Awards... I'd be psyched for you too. Thanks, Thanks man. You, man. We should start those loans living loans <laughs> living room. I show up. Yeah, I I'll be too. at that show. Man. I'd love to see. We gotta wait until Tyler are. Perry creates his own award show. Yeah. Mm. You what got is the money a cat- to do it. What is a category for a loans living room awards? Just give me one. Anybody? We'll just, no, just, just think about it. We can just make up whatever we want. Best we can choose sweatshirt. whatever we want. Best sweatshirt. I like that. <laughs> Best socks. Best socks. Yeah. Best fitted. Least yeah. stinky. Least. <laughs> Somebody's feet was humming today, boy. Well, what mine? Best sag. Best sag. Who's sagging? No. Killed the y'all, most couple mosquitoes. Of couple of y'all thugs. Um, <laughs> oh, stop! <laughs> M- mosquito killer. Best you know. mosquito killer. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Uh, best to uh, answer the door when somebody randomly best, shows up. Yeah. <laughs> Pizza's here. Best retro uh, NBA shooting shirt. Hmm. Best okay. hockey jersey. The best, uh, I'm the sweeping best the major seventh. Um, I wouldn't say Joan, 
<laughs> but uh, the best major seventh. He's thinking. He's thinking. Hmm. It's not quite a diss. Yeah, not a diss. It's a Jones. I Jab guess. maybe. Clap Jab. back. Yeah. Least gum stuck on things. Wow. Oh. <laughs> There'd be a four way tie for first place with us four. How about that? Dry stench and we see all out there. All right. Uh, man, the whole world else? knows about you. <laughs> <laughs> he admitted it the other the other day too. Oh uh, yeah. I came on home. <laughs> I missed it. I came on home, man. You weren't here. Damn. Sex leaders rehearsal. It was man. a sex leaders thing. Oh, he yeah. wouldn't do it in front of us. Yeah, no. I came on home. You got, got even, you got baptized that day too? No, nah, it ain't about <laughs> that, man. Lead the Lord out of this. Did you hear the good news that day? What's that? The good news. Yeah. <laughs> Lead the Lord out of this man. It was weighing heavy on your heart, huh? It was. I it think it was been an too accident. long. I think it was nah. an accident. It was. It was bothering me a little bit. It's been I too long. To, huh? He's he's an asshole. So it was an accident. Yeah, it's I, cool though. I think I caught you in it too. I don't. No, know. No. I don't even know if it was an intention. I've always acknowleded the first one. Unbelievable. Now anything after that, I ain't got nothing to do with it. The first one I acknowledged, one hundred percent. He said the sins at the Lord's feet. So he said something. Wow. Long, he said something along the lines of, "Well, you know, I haven't stuck gum under anything in a while." I was yeah. like, "Oh, so that means it." What's a while though? Back when we were taping, <laughs> like episode in the first what fifties? Wow. When y'all tried to call me out, put me on blast. So, but that's the only time we found it. So. Wow. Cool. So I've wow, made wow, a change. Wow, wow, like wow, I've wow. come a long way. We can pull the gun. It's still on here. You want to show it to the camera? Hey, no. man, God is good. All right. So let's let's, <laughs> let's we've got out of it, Mike. Thanks, Brad. Yep. Um, God. God. That's what you said. You said leave God out of it. Yeah, yeah, man, shout out, out to the part. That is what he said. 100%. And later on. Yeah, except when it helps him. Yeah. You're going to say, and later this on with an accent? Yeah. I feel you. Shout out to Coleman Dental, mm-hmm. man. Let's take care of the partners, man. 317-255-8546. Go see Dr. Coleman. Get your teeth. is right. Bringing out the band, as always, is The Hub. Make sure you go to YouTube and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you can get all the albums, like Add To's album that we're going to talk about a little bit later on. Yep. That has been uploaded. You can check that out there. Indie CD and Vinyl, they take care of us with uh, an abundance of wax for our raffles, so we really appreciate them as a partner as well. Bringing out the band, as always, they've continued to lace us with uh, fresh merch. It's a hat you mean there. Printfinity? Oh, you know, wait, wait. I thought you yeah, said bring, yeah, bring it on the band. band. Bring it on. You meant no, I bad, bring idea. On the band. no bad ideas. Yeah, so. there we go. Yeah. Shout out to No Bad Ideas. Printfinity, they also have some great things coming. They got a, man, they got an artist. I'm telling you, man, it's going to be, you know, one of the premier artists for their line. I'm mm-hmm. telling you. Shout out to the bloke Paddington. They got some good things coming on. We're going to be patient, though. Got to make sure everything is right. So shout out to Printfinity as well. All right. <laughs> 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 Just, Just, leave, it leave, it alone, Just leave it alone. Leave it alone, Spoolies. Leave it alone. But uh, shout out to our partners. That's man, a major seventh award for sure. <laughs> but for real though, make yeah. sure y'all go to uh, uh, search "Bringing Down the Band" on YouTube. Subscribe, hit that bell for all the notifications for everything that we upload. Uh, Lone does a great job of keeping everything fresh and up to date. We're gonna start doing something new too. Talk to me. Uh, we're gonna have a meeting, I think, in a couple of weeks to okay. talk about some things. But one of our uh, one of our topics on the show is going to be. Uh, User uh-huh. user submitted. So nice. based on our Patreons, patrons. And everyone do Patreon. me a favor as well. Um, I get a lot of um, messages in my inbox about, you know, videos that we share on social media that are clips from, you know, the previous episode, whatever we put out that this week. show you're watching. Yeah, this show. <laughs> the new old days. But I need you guys to take those comments and put those uh, on the YouTube page so that we can argue with you all and tell you why y'all are wrong. Like, that's the fun part for me. So make sure you go to YouTube, get, jump, in the con- jump in the comments. We'll definitely all come, we'll definitely come in. Ass, bang, for sure. Bang, bang. Talk that talk. Long. We'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, come in, <laughs> we'll come in there and definitely tell you why you're wrong. Uh, but Three we still... Feet. We still appreciate <laughs> we appreciate the uh, support either way. I had a couple people glazed him, headshot down. <laughs> hey, you stupid! Um, I had a couple people, more than a couple people, actually hit me up to talk about uh, the Kanye joint. So, yo, I put missed the, that one. Yeah, put those comments on YouTube so we can come in there and correct y'all and tell y'all why y'all are wrong. Uh, we really appreciate that, and also the and support. thanks to those of y'all that already do. That's yes, we appreciate that as well. So. Shout out to everyone that uh, rocks with us there. Patreon as well. Patreon.com backslash new old ads. Um, 
join up, join, sign up. We got some good things going on there, especially with Wax. Once we have this super Wrap meeting. it up, B. Yeah, you said it. You're kind of rambling now. I so. definitely didn't mention Patreon, but it's cool. Uh-huh. Um, wax. I heard Wax twice. I'm sorry. I feel you. It's cool, brother. Yeah. You, you're a dad now. It's cool. Yeah. All <laughs> right. So let's, <laughs> let's continue with the rundown. Uh, Griselda, they put the. <laughs> I see you. Did I do it right? That's close. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. Boom, 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 boom. hey yo! Hey yo! They put the track list out for uh, what was Sheen Gun do? Uh, mm. It's gonna feature Eminem, Fifty Cent, Raekwon. Uh, trying to see who else is on there. Those are the big ones for me in terms of the features. But I'm really excited to hear uh, what these brothers drop. If you think about it, with uh, it'll come out Friday. Oh, I gotta, I gotta search the date. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yep. Spools, Black you Friday. It. Yep. Is it Black Friday? I don't know why Overall. I called it that because I don't like I don't participate in Black well, Friday. Well, that's what okay. it's called. It's yeah, it's okay. yeah, it's okay. Yeah. You don't gotta buy nothing for it. For it'd sure, still be Black Friday. For sure. I don't. But it's when some it's people tied buy to a new TV that, every just, year. It's just Friday. Yeah. The Friday after Thanksgiving. Friday. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm excited uh, about it. Looks looks good. Yeah, Fifty Cent, Eminem, Ray, Raekwon on the intro. Yeah, Raekwon's on track one. Um. Yeah, dude. Looking forward to it. I think this is uh this has a chance to be really dope. Um any Drake influence on that? Uh not on this. Oh. Some d- yeah. I doubt it. Uh, not on I haven't this. heard it in the last twenty projects that have come out from oh, them. Okay. So, yeah. cool. I doubt anything sounds like controller on this. Controller is a great album. I mean great song. Good record, yeah. But yeah. not on this though. It ain't on this. Just saying. Um a little different. Good yeah. record though, I feel you. What was the album name with him sitting on the uh the Tower in Toronto. That's the album controller the was on. The You're six. asking the wrong guy, bud. Sorry, yeah. brother. That album actually has some heat on there. I ain't gonna front. Yeah. Um, but I'm excited about this one, man. I'd be curious to see where they go. I'm sure Darren's just gonna handle or Alchemist probably. Or too. Alchemist, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna handle the majority of the production on there. Or maybe not, I don't know. Because it is a major release, right? I will I will give uh West Side Gun credit. He did the uh what is that series called on title where he rides with Elliot Wilson? What they ride ride? Know, first listener, first listener, yeah, yeah, yeah. He talked about. Um, he mentioned how important it is to, you know, they hold Derringer down. He's like the quote unquote in house producer, but he talked about as they get, you know, as they expand, they're starting to reach out to more producers to you know, give people the looks that they got when they were actually coming up. So he, he did say that was, that was uh, something that was going to be of importance. So maybe on this project, it might be, you know, a couple people that we haven't heard from or That'd be we dope. don't know. I think that's dope. You think about Conway, everything is full. Like if you go through the actual track list, you know, there's always three or four people where I'm like, I've never heard this dude, but this beat is cold, you know, and that's a testament to them to actually keep it, you know, you know, to, just to keep it yep. funky, to be able to reach gotta out give, to people and take give, dope beats uh, when they're dope beats. I got, like that. Got to give 50 credit for that because he was one of the first major artists to reach out to non-major producers. For sure. For sure. Him so, and uh, Rick Ross. Rick Ross, Ross actually. Yeah. Ross is good with that too, you know, after that. But 50 was one of those people. Shout out to the homie Nas Scent. You know what I'm saying? Him and QB, the homie QB, they, they recorded with him on the Curtis album, I believe. Mm. And Nasent just had a joint on, we talked about last week, on the Davies joint. So yeah. it can't happen. You know what I'm saying? But I'm really curious to see what Didn't the Nas pro- kind of do that a little bit. After you know Il- what? After Illmatic. Um, For better or worse. <clears throat> no, I think Trackmasters, Jun- Salam Remy. Um, Salam Remy. Jungle produced a lot, right? I'm not listening to him. I ain't going to do this. He, I'm not going to do this. I think Spools is right because Jungle's he was his favorite rapper. It is. He's he a would, producer. Wow. <laughs> Either way, stop, man. In this but, space, <laughs> yeah. Stop, man. Okay. But uh, I don't to, know about Nas. I honestly, to, I don't know. To because you hate Nas, but to, to Spool's point, there are some producers that are unknown that um, you know, they usually on his album after the clap, you know, the yes. first couple albums, whatever. <laughs> so I'd be curious to see how this sounds. Uh, I'm hyped for the Ray feature just off GP because. I'll be hype when I hear it. Oh, yeah, I just want I want to I just want to dive in. And yeah, I don't I check mean, him out. There's two videos online. I mean, he dropped so much music. I mean, he yeah, West Side Gun just dropped Hitler's Wear Hermes. I'm still listening to the last Conway joint yeah. in the car right now, so I mean 
Benny the Butcher shit's still kind of yeah. fresh. Yeah. They keep I, fresh content. I they will say that. It's not yep. like we haven't heard them in three years. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, they moving. Like, they're, they're actually moving. So I'm really excited to see what they do uh, with this one. Because they've the reason I'm excited is because they've talked about this one for a while. Like, we, I've heard about this one for a while. So that's why I'm curious to see, you know what I'm saying, where they go and, mm-hmm. you know, what they do there. So we'll see. I'm definitely rocking with Gazelda. Uh, Alchemist and uh, Action Bronson dropped Lamb Over Rice. Long put me on this. Uh, I was asleep. I got a chance to listen to it. You know what? Producer, from a producer standpoint, Alchemist really picks some. He picks some interesting loops, picks some interesting, you know, sequencing. Mm-hmm. But the shit is fire, though, man. Like when it's I good. listen to it, it's probably what six. I think seven, seven records. Seven records. Yeah. He got some heat on there, from what I heard. What, what did you think? It's good, man. Action Bronson and Alchemist sound really good together. Facts. You know, regardless, there's always going to be the comments of of the people that are always going to say Action Bronson is ghost faced over and over again. But it's like, I'm over that now, though. It's like, let's. I think well, I'm over that now. Action I still. Hope so it's been action, like six, seven yeah, years. I'm over that. Action still raps the same. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's not like he he's always rapped this way. You know, um, and it's more a voice thing. But anyways, uh, yeah, I, I it's a solid project. You know, sounds like Action and Alchemist has got some cool loops. Is it's not just loops on this one though, which is cool. Exactly. Um, the straight loop stuff is kind of played out, in my opinion. It has been for a while, but um, a lot yeah, of it's people, good. A lot of people biting that wave. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But well, Muggs did it to death this last year. He dropped like f- fucking twenty projects yeah. with no drums on them. But yeah. I mean, they're good records. But it's like, man, I want a snare somewhere. <laughs> Give me a kick or something. I had or something. But, yeah, Muggs is dope. I don't know, man. He had well. I know you're, you're. I know you're exaggerating a bit. Yeah, I yeah. think there were seven or eight. Get, but they all. Give a lot of them, some of them had drums. I know the, the Crime Apple joint in particular is what mm. stands out to me. Is that, 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 that didn't really have any drums at all. Some of them, yeah. But it, like we were just listening to um, the one with Rock Marciano on the way over here, and it's heavy drums and shit yeah. like that. But the, I know. I know. I feel what you're saying about the straight loop shit. I think that. That's always gonna be there though for like people who really dig records and shit. You but know it's what I mean? like it's really blown up in the last couple of years. It used to wild. be it, it kind of it was like a noir thing for a while, and now it's just like everybody's doing it. It's yeah. just it's just kind of like, hey, all right, cool. Like the, it's lost its appeal to me. Like, the thing about that is there's a there's always a place in my heart for that. So anytime I hear something that's you know remotely close to that or similar to that. I'm going to gravitate towards it because that's how I came up, like digging for loops. and As long as the loop is like really dope, though. I think that's the thing, too. Like I remember like I had a couple beats I made early on. I kind of felt funny about it that I just straight looped, but the loops were crazy. Yeah. Um, but anything, when it works, it works though. When it works, it works. Yeah, but it works. a lot of stuff I hear is just like, oh, that's a cool loop, but it would sound yeah. better with drums. Yeah. Or, you know, like... I agree with it that. Just, a lot of it just sounds effortless. Plus, you, I, you're definitely qualified to speak on that, so I, I get it. I'm not mad at that. But uh, but if people like it, hey. Yeah. When that shit is right, though, it, it definitely sounds Absolutely. good. Absolutely. And Alchemist is one of the originators of it. So yeah. I mean. He's consistent with it, too. A lot of people low-key bite the Alchemist. Um, Alchemist, Mad Lib. Yep. Yeah, like those two for sure. People bite them because those are, those are guys I can really look to to say, they really were in those crates and really finding those loops, you know what I'm saying, and then flipping them and you know filter filtering <laughs> the sample or whatever. Like you know, that. you know a fad that didn't catch on. And I don't even wasn't even going to be one. Remember that, that song Ghosted, where he rapped over the whole song? Yes, one hundred percent. The entire old the old entire song. song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people mix like that, like mix records, blending. Oh, where, like words blend. over words. Yeah, I, I learned I can't stand to never that. do that. Yeah, basically, that's not like the move. It. Doesn't sound good. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. That's how I learned how to DJ. It's like this is one of the things you don't do. Yeah. It's like clashing keys. He literally sometimes. rapped over like the whole song. Yeah, it's I, weird. It's wild that loops became like back to what we were saying. Like I, I have buddies. I mean, people you know too that have been doing shit like that for fifteen years. For sure. For sure. Um, and do it really well. But I, I've always equated it to. Like if your head, if like you're in the crates, real, real heavy. Yeah, and you're good with loops, and some loops have drums in them. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? But not heavy. Mm-hmm. You can over, hear it over subtly. Capacity, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like huge 808s and shit. Mm-hmm. It's just a loop. It's just one. Yeah, but, there's no layering involved yeah. for sure. But yeah. Uh, 
yeah it's wild that like how things become popular and then yeah definitely some heat on that joint though so we gonna yeah. see it's a good, yeah it's good it's a good check record. it out if you can because you know it's, it's some boom bap shit on there it's really dope i'd like to see derringer produce for some other mcs yeah. I would as well. Yeah, yeah. that I, I haven't well. really seen much of. I haven't yeah. gone out looking, but you know that might be kind of cool. I think Derringer, like when Derringer actually, like when he's on the mark, he's really dope. Well, he's there to me. I was thinking about as you were talking about. It, he's their sound. Like when you think about them coming yeah. out. It's oh, one hundred percent. Like one hundred percent. It's just dark, and it's you know. I actually appreciate Benny, uh, Westside Gun, and Conway because. Every move I see them make, he's there. Well, like but, all the videos, the trailers, whatever, he's there, and they always big him up. You know, uh, I think it was Conway they was getting mad at Vlad for com- when he talked about yeah. the, you know, mm-hmm. what I'm saying Com- comparing him. Like they really ride for Darren, and I like that because he's the dude yeah. that was giving them those beats and, when they and came. And you made up. a good. Brad made a great point too, not to cut you off, but he did make a great point about his the dark sound that Darren has. For sure, like he, for sure. he, you know that. That's legitimately a major part of why they are who they are is mm-hmm. because of him yeah. orchestrating. And there is definitely a science to digging to find those type of records to sure. flip. I mean, it's so, so. E- it's so easy to get to uh, the point where you are, you know, received nationally and then you get the cosign from Hove and the, the Rock Nation on that. It's so easy to be like, yeah, I'm not going to rock with Derringer anymore because I got access to... You know, said producer, said legend, said this or that. I mean, so the, Jay so the, Z didn't take that route. That's that's how you got a Kanye West. That's how you bingo. got bingo. Just uh, Blaze. Um, just Blaze. Bingo. Because he was pretty much getting this fresh blood in and rocking with them. So yeah, I wonder and if I, it's also cheaper. <laughs> Sometimes it's cheaper. <laughs> yeah, it, it's cheaper. It's cheaper uh, to Spool's point. But what I'm saying is, there's a level of respect that i pay to from a producer standpoint uh the level of respect that i pay to them to say yo this is the guy that was there from us with us when we built from the ground up we well, have they, to take that, him with us there's their their sound is so niche yeah that you can't change it though you can't change it you I can't agree. just insert new producer and now our sound is different you can't do that with them i understand if if they had like maybe one song here or there well, no, it's to your point. When they go get production from other people, like Alchemist, like Green Lantern, it's the same style. It's a, it's it's a similar style to Derringer's, but it's the, it's the same feel. Yeah, I would say that. Yeah, maybe not the same style as far as the way they made it or mm-hmm. something like that. But it's that same dark. That's how I always just use the it. eerie, yeah. eerie, eerie, dark yeah. kind of. You know, beat, we, beats or production or feel really. Yeah, because yeah. if we keep it a buck, like when we look at the videos from. You know, West Side Gun and, and Benny, you know, with Hove and they're playing joints in the studio or whatever. Like, Derringer's a part of that. There's no way they get there, you know what I'm saying, without for his sure. sound and him being the foundation. So you got to give him peace for that. And I'm yeah. just glad that they took him with them so that when these releases come, he'll be plastered over the production credits. And, you know, when Benny puts something out and West Side Gun puts something out moving forward, he'll be a part of that. To me, that's a lost start because you I mean, see people get Hollywood. I think he's just Hollywood. as important to their sound as that RZA was to early Wu-Tang mm-hmm. shit. There you go. I agree. There you go. I mean, you, you weren't getting that feel without RZA. Right. And with Griselda, you're not going to get that feel. Or Havoc with, with yeah. early Mom Deep. Like, yeah. It's just not going to happen. Manny Fresh Cash Money. It's the same th- It's yeah. the same concept. Uh, Beast by the Pound. He no comes with. It's, he, it's a thing. It's a uh, group. You know what I'm saying? It's a. What what's the phrase I'm looking for? Package deal. Package deal. Yeah. But it would yeah. be cool to see Derringer do what like like Big Ghost does. Yeah. Like get with a MC and do sure. a EP or do like a whole Mugs project. Did. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Be cool. So yeah, shout out to Griselda, you know, Derringer and then their entire crew. I'd be curious to see how this goes. I'm really excited about it. Uh been rocking with them for a long time, so I'm definitely curious to hear how that goes. Uh the homie ad two dropped uh uh, Jim Crow the musical mixed and mastered by a friend of ours, Zill Brown. Shout yep. out to him as well. Shit sounds amazing. That album is so heavy. Like I don't even know it's if we a great really, album. <laughs> oh my god, it's it's dope. Like it, there's so much meat and potatoes on there. Like we might have to come back and revisit it. Like mm-hmm. um, bringing out. I'm only like 
three songs in right now. Yeah, man, it's tough, man. Yeah, it's tough from a feature standpoint. Yeah, he didn't miss a step taking nah. taking the uh, break that he took. So. He didn't. Shout out to Ad, man. Yeah, shout out to Ad too, man. Slot A's on there. He's got production. Uh, the homie Nick has production on there where there oh, as well. He? Yeah, Nick's got a joint on there. Okay. And then uh, just the Ill Brown, you know, from a mastering standpoint, mixing standpoint, this shit sounds amazing. Heard it in earbuds, heard it in the car. Yeah. Excuse me. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. You would be able to attest yeah, to that Yeah, it sounds well. great. No, it's not, I actually yeah. told Will, personally, like I messaged him, said it sounds great. That shit sounds so, good. So Sounds really, uh, yes. We, yeah. we, we'll have to uh, we'll have to all sit down on it and come back and revisit that one. But uh, Bringing Down the Band also has a full album. It's one of the only ones that I see that has a full stream on YouTube. So, you know, all the followers and subscribers, make sure y'all go to, you know, Bringing Down the Band and uh, pick that album up and take a listen because shit is dope, man. It's extremely dope. So shout out to Ad. He's yeah. uh, doing what Ad does. Um, also, let's mention before we get out of here, uh, one of our brothers, Longevity, dropped his uh, Lone Love's Lone Love Moonchild. It's a remix. Uh, re- but, well, well, flip. Well, uh, is it a remix? You nah, tell remix. me what it is. You tell them what it is. You describe it. Tell people. Yeah, what it is. yeah. So it's a uh, it's a series that I ha- have called Lone Love, and uh, I just take records and I just sample them. So like, like the Shot A joint, correct? So it's the same one. So okay. Shot A joint that I put out last year, I just took Shot A records and sampled it. So yep. this one is a little different because I took Lo- uh, Moonchild drop Little Ghost like two months ago, two or three Very months, dope. two or three months ago. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I just I flipped each track on their new record to to remake it into this new one. So yeah, nice. four, fourteen records, kind of soul smoothed out, soulful instrumental type vibe. So. If lot, you like that, then you might like this. Word. A lot of my DJ homies from, um, you know, out east and what have you. I got a, a handful of texts today, but like, and this is the funny part to me. I laugh. They're like, yeah, man, hey, you got alone, man. He's nice. And I'm like, yep, been rocking with him for a long time. Uh, <laughs> a lot of material he's put out. but uh, it's, it's gotten a lot of love, man, so uh, far. I mean, obviously it came out today, which is Tuesday, yeah. but... Uh, I had you had a, pre-orders as well. I, I saw a, your pre-order game I had, was high. I had a handful of pre-orders, yeah. which was really cool. I had people that bought it today. Yeah. Um, uh, shouts to Bama Love Soul. They reached out and uh, covered it randomly. I don't know how he heard it. DJ, shouts to DJ Radu. Yeah, that's, um, that's solid. Um, had, had a nice little write-up about it. So, yeah, I mean, it's got a lot of... I'm, I'm happy people like it. You Shout know? out to DJ Nate Jeezy out east. He... Uh, loves it from what he's told me so far so i'm sure he, like nate's plugged out east so he'll definitely spread that thing around uh, yeah he, he texts me yeah, he texts me personally i think he was a pre-order as well for yeah, he bought yeah he got uh, the pre-order well yeah. he loved my shot a project yes. so and it was on the it's in the same tip as that so if you like the moon child one or the shot a one you you're go. gonna like both of them he moved, so, he, he it's very moved, soulful he moves in the dope circle out there so uh we appreciate you uh gz for supporting loan on that and also supporting the uh podcast he always has comments i just need jeezy to put those comments on the, the youtube page man <laughs> stop playing man do what you're supposed to do he's an indiana native right yes he was born and raised in that but uh lives out in the east so out right. east now so i think jeezy went to bra ripple if i'm not mistaken oh, okay so, rocket yeah so shout out to the homie Nate jeezy yeah the, good people Yes, sir. Did I forget anything? Anybody want to have real quick last say? Rock Marciano out? mentioned he's putting out uh, Marcialago, or yes. I think is what his new project's going to be called. But that's supposed to be coming soon. So okay, I sent Mike the uh, yes the track list and all that. You know what? I apologize because I didn't, didn't make it. I don't have iTunes. I think it was the iTunes link. No, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Maybe Apple. Was Apple. that thirty dollar? Should have been Apple. Stop! Nope. Stop that shit, more. <laughs> Either I don't think way, this one's thirty. I want to give. I, I'll give thirty Sp- thirty dollar download. No, nope. yeah. I give Spools peas because uh, I knew Rock Marciano, but he actually was the one that made me sit down and actually, you know, get up on game. Dude is nice. Yeah. Like he actually nice though. Like he's nice. He's been around for a long time. He has. Yeah, like yeah. I've listened, but I didn't listen. Listen to Spools was like, "Yo, you need to actually listen to the dude." So the first time I heard called. him was in like ninety something. Well, he's on Buster Rhymes album. He's foot yep. mode. He was foot mode. He's foot mode. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Was he? Shout out to Lord have mercy. They should have put his. They should have put more albums. The out ungodly for hour. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. It never yeah. came out. You ain't yeah. like Lord have mercy. I can't. Can't say. Why? That I did. <laughs> Sorry. 
Because sometimes you don't have to like everything, Mike. You like Raw Digger? I, I did. Like, I like Raw Digger. Here and there, yeah. Why you ain't like Laura Hermercy? Because I ain't have to. Oh. Like yeah. Buster. Of course. Did she like Rampage? Mm, that's the name I was thinking. The Abandoned last, Ship was cold. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Abandoned Ship was cold yeah. on uh, The Coming. Rampage. Being like Rampage. That. Rampage. Mm, Pretty wow for the night is yeah, still I mean, out. A song, song here and there. I mean, yeah, okay, get a couple joints. Why you ain't like Rampage? Because I ain't have to. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be the answer. One more time. <laughs> Why you ain't? And like on Rampage? that note, you know who I like though that was featured on Method Man shit. Talk to me. Street uh, life. Street life. Uh, I like no Street life. Street yeah. life's dope. Is he better than Rampage? Yep. All right. I would second <laughs> that, but I like Rampage too. That is going to do it for episode 161 of New Old Heads Podcast. Make sure you go to bringingoutaband.com. Also, go to YouTube and search for Bringing Out a Band. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, join our Patreon as well, backslash New Old Heads. For the entire crew, we will see you next week. Peace. Merry Thanksgiving. Hey. Merry Thanksgiving. I don't know, but this bitch regular, man. I don't know, but this bitch regular, man. I don't know, but this bitch regular, man.